How did you get started on this path? Have you always been interested in science or was it just one of those things? <laughs> no, unfortunately when I was little, I liked to be outside, but really didn't know that there was a field called geology and didn't really think about even going to college at all. I was very into music and played oboe for a couple orchestras for the states that I lived in. Oh. And then when I was thinking about going to college, thought I would go into music. And then probably within my first year realized mm, that really wasn't for me. So I switched to my major biology. You switched from music to biology. <laughs> from music I did. To... Yeah. And then most biology students that I was with were mostly interested in going to med school and I had no interest in that. So I finished my undergraduate degree, worked for the Department of Health, didn't really want to work for the government forever, decided, you know, I need to go to graduate school, thought about what I liked and I really liked dinosaurs. So I applied to a bunch of paleontology programs in the country and got into a master's program at SUNY Buffalo. Started there in paleontology And it turned out after about a year of studying there that I was terrible at finding fossils, just absolutely awful at it. So my advisor suggested that I go to Yale to, to work with a graduate student that he had met at a meeting to learn some very basic geochemistry. I went down there and worked with Tim Lyons, who's now at Long Beach, but at the time was doing his PhD with Bob Berner, fell absolutely in love with geochemistry, came back, and told my advisor I was moving to a PhD program in geochemistry, and the rest is history. 